For best results, view this video in full screen mode. Hello and thanks for joining me for this little lesson in analyzing Adobe PDFs for print. Uh, this video was created with print buyers and designers in mind and it's really to help you identify common problems associated with PDF files so that those can be corrected before they are sent on to the printer which can save you a lot of time and money. So getting started, I want to mention that Acrobat Professional is the tool to use to analyze PDFs. The free Adobe Acrobat Reader just does not have the pre-flight tools necessary to really show you some of the problems in PDFs. So Professional, though it costs a few dollars, is well worth it. There are two settings in Professional that we want to change. Local fonts and overprint preview are both set incorrectly by default. So before we do anything else, we want to set those to the proper settings. Local fonts you can find in the advanced menu in Acrobat 6 and 7, and it tells Acrobat where to look for fonts. Should it look locally to the system for fonts, or should it look to the PDF? And it should look to the PDF, so we want to turn this off. Next, overprint preview you can think of as a print preview, and it'll show you how colors are going to interact on press and it's off by default so we want to turn that on so that you can actually see colors mixing. In Acrobat 8 and 9 those settings are in a different location so we'll go to the edit menu, preferences, and then general. And then in page display you'll see the use local font setting is on by default we want to turn that off. And the overprint preview setting is off by default and we want to turn that on. Once you set these, click OK and you can forget about them. The type on this page is not embedded in the PDF so it's a great example of that local font setting in action. The type on the bottom of the page has a drop shadow which has been converted to a graphic so it shows us what that type is supposed to look like but because Acrobat is now looking to the PDF for fonts that are missing then it is not rendering the type above it correctly. If the fonts here have been embedded in the PDF as they always should be for a print ready file, then the type in red would render correctly. It's just a great tool to help us identify unembedded fonts. Another way to determine whether the fonts are embedded in a PDF are to examine its document properties and you can access this in all versions of Acrobat the same including Acrobat Reader. Go to the file menu and choose document properties. In Acrobat 8 and 9 you'll notice these tabs fall along the left hand side of this dialog box but here in Acrobat 7 they're along the top. So we're going to go to fonts and then all the type used in your document are listed here. Each font in the list must have embedded subset or embedded after the name. If it does not, it is not embedded in the PDF and this is not a print ready file. If you've converted all your type to outlines or paths or curves, then you won't have any fonts listed here at all. And that's actually a good way to avoid font errors altogether. Remember we turned over print preview on in our preferences and it's because we want to see a print preview and see how colors interact on press. Here we have an example of some type that's missing on a page and it's because it's white type that is set to overprint which simply won't print, it'll disappear. We also have some yellow type that is set to overprint on a blue background and that is making it green. If you viewed this page with Acrobat's default settings you wouldn't identify these critical errors at all. In a separate video I'll cover how these overprint errors actually occur in the design stage. So there are four main things we need to analyze to determine whether a PDF is print ready. Number one, are all the fonts embedded? And we just learned a moment ago how to verify that. Number two, are bleeds present in the PDF if they're required? Number three, are all the images high resolution? And number four, are all the images CMYK? Using Acrobat Professional, you can verify all four of these things before submitting your file to print. Now since we've already covered embedded fonts, let's move on to the second item on our list, which is bleeds. Not all files require bleeds, and this page is an example of a design that does not. It has a quarter inch white border all the way around, and therefore it does not require any additional color beyond the trim. 
We know from our print specs that this example page is supposed to be 8.5 by 11, and if we hover our mouse in the lower left hand corner of the page, we'll see that the page size does match the specs, so we're good. Now this is a page that does require bleeds, but bleeds are not included in this PDF. We're going to hover down here again, we'll see that our trim size is 8.5 by 11, but we weren't given any additional color or image beyond the trim. This is a mistake. If everything else about this file qualifies it as print ready, this one critical error has disqualified it. Send it back to the designer and have them save the PDF with bleeds. Looking at the next example, we see a page that does require bleeds and bleeds are included. Notice that the page size is oversized at 9.5 by 6.5. It has trim marks at 8.5 by 5.5 and, and the bleed extends beyond that trim area, an extra eighth of an inch. Notice that our trim box is 8.5 by 5.5 and, and we have an extra eighth of an inch of bleeds all the way around. In our next example, we're going to look at Acrobat Professional's pre-flight tool. And this will help us analyze whether images and files are high res and CMYK. Some problems with images are easy to identify even without the pre-flight tools. If an image looks pixelated on screen, you can bet it's going to print the same way. In Acrobat 6 and 7, Professional's pre-flight tool is in the advanced menu, right down at the very bottom. In Acrobat 8 and 9, it's in the same location, Advanced Pre-Flight. And in 8 and 9 we want to click on the little PDF Analysis flyout menu and expand these options here and we're looking for a profile called List All Images. You can either double click on it or highlight it and click Execute. And Preflight is going to examine all the pages in the PDF, examine all the images, and list their resolution and color mode here. The numbers you want to pay attention to are the PPI numbers at the end of each line and also the RGB or CMYK color modes at the end of each line. You want to verify that all the images are high resolution and basically that means between 3 and 400 ppi. Anything below 300 ppi and you're going to start to notice the image degrading in quality and especially if you get down to 150, 100, 72 or even less than that you're going to notice some really bad pixelated fuzzy images. As far as color mode is concerned, all the images listed here need to be CMYK. RGB images will produce very washed out and flat looking images on press and will basically produce results that no one will be happy with. If you double click on any of these entries here in the list, you'll notice that Acrobat highlights or marquees the images on the page so you can identify very easily the images that are RGB and the images that are low res. This pre-flight tool in Professional does far more than just examine images. If you poke around some of the pre-flight profiles, you'll notice all sorts of other useful tools like identifying non-CMYK vector objects and listing fonts and things like that. So play around with some of those profiles. I think you'll find them very useful.